Peter Shrees was put in charge as caretaker boss for a game against Bolton. He knew he was playing for high stakes. He decided to bring back Peter Atherton, Andy Booth and Graham Hyde. So they got clearance there from Pressman. Canio with a touch. Oh, De Canio's to his left, tries it himself. Good save by the keeper, Brannigan. Booth almost through for the opening goal. Nice ball through here, and Andy Booth gets it on the right foot, but it's a good save by Brannigan. Corner kick. Good header, punched away by Brannigan. Oh, and Bolton's defence. Well, they've got enough men around the ball there. There must be uh, six men around that ball. But uh, they're struggling. Booth beating them in the air. Canio. Atherton. Chingley. Depth in the middle there, and a good solid tackle coming in. Picked up by Di Canio. Booth's in there too. Di Canio going through. Scores! Oh! Sixth goal of the season, and everyone's been a peach. Well, oh, what can you say about this man? He had them backpedalling there. The challenge coming in, not good enough. And Sheffield Wednesday lead Bolton Wanderers by one goal to nil in the 20th minute. Time. He's gone through the middle, challenge a bad uh, challenge that quickly taken. Here's Rudy trying to pull the ball back over the defender's head. Knocks it back. Di Canio. Not a good strike from him. Well saved by Brannigan. And uh, Di Canio frustrated that he didn't beat uh, Brannigan with his first effort. A follow-up coming there from Booth. Canio's shot, well, it was a good save because the keeper didn't have a clear view. Canio again. Dangerous ball across. Root. Good ball. Wait again! Oh, came flying in from that right-hand side. 26 minutes gone. Sheffield Wednesday 2, Bolton 0. Rudy getting the luck of the uh, rebound there, but a perfect cross from him to the far post. And in came Guy Whittingham, the former sh soldier, to shoot Sheffield Wednesday into a two-goal lead. Really excited here. Oh, and Sheffield Wednesday coming forward again. Some sweeping clinical football from them tipped over by Keith Brannigan. Not sure whether that was intended as a cross, but uh, it caused a few problems for Brannigan. Peter Shreves there. Trying to get some message over. Rudy. Di Canio. Good turn, good cross. Oh, and what a goal! from Andy Booth, he celebrates his recall with a superb goal, two goals in three minutes for Sheffield Wednesday, three in nine, and they're taking Bolton Wanderers apart here. Bolton just can't get hold of the ball, they're chasing shadows all the time. Superb show this from Sheffield Wednesday. Here's Booth. Oh, and he scored another! What a clinical finish that was. Hardly any backlift at all. He took the ball in one stride and shot home to make it 4-0. We only had 33 minutes played. And just look at this. He controls the ball with his right, hammers it first time. Brannigan couldn't get to it. Well, it just shows you what 
what uh, Wednesday can do. Bolton, we're visiting to uh, Pressman's penalty area and uh, capably dealt with too by the Wednesday defence. Here goes Rudy. He's got a lot of space to work in. Decanio. Being forced wide. Clever back heel though. Good cross in. Booth! Oh! It's hat trick! Just a minute before the break. And Andy Booth scores his third of the game. Decanio here with a clever back heel. Setting up the cross. And Booth towering header from him. 5 0. Well, Andy Booth, a nice return after injury for you. Yeah, yeah, it's been 10 weeks out, like with my knee injury. And it's always nice to get back uh, in the starting lineup. And lucky for me, I've had three goals in the first half. I think I said at the start of the day that it would be uh, a day to enjoy. I didn't think I'd enjoy it quite as much as I did because uh, at half time, uh, I haven't given too many team talks when you're 5 0 up. And uh, it was the most enjoyable performance uh, for the full 90 minutes. We had to be very professional in the second half because we had tired boys that wasn't 100% that fit. But uh, I picked the centre forward that wasn't fit. He scored a hat trick and the, the captain came in and done that holding job. So uh, it was a good day for me. Uh, twins of sadness for David Pleat. You know, he never had the availability of them two lads. Yeah, it's been a tough week for us. We knew if we, we came out we're, and we had Bolton like we had a chance and luckily we got an early goal which really got us on his way. Yeah, it's an amazing thing and it when a team changes their manager they normally get the result. They don't maybe do it quite as convincingly as, as we did today but uh, it seems a fact of life. Are you claiming any input in, input in it? Uh, I was the man who in charge on this particular day. I looked up at that scoreboard and it said the Owls 5, Bolton 0 so I think I have to be part of that. The front of the programme said the only way is up. You've made a good start. Yeah, well, when you're the bottom of the league, the only way is up. So, yeah, we've got Arsenal in a couple of weeks here, so we've just got to, we can't wait for that to come now. What are your feelings about the, the manager's job here? Uh, I think uh, from what one can gather is they, they have an appointment in mind for next Wednesday. Uh, my situation then will be whether that chap wants me to stay and, and help out with the coaching. So uh, I have to wait and see, A, who it's going to be, and uh, does he want me to uh, be alongside him?